Hey there, my name is Ali and today I'm gonna show you how to achieve the caricature look. Okay, first thing I'm gonna increase the crop size of the photo. Then I need to cut his face only. So I'm gonna use the pen tool and just like make a selection around his beard. You don't have to be like super accurate. Just select out the beard, something like that. First, I'm gonna unlock the background and press Ctrl J. So I have two copies, just in case something happen, I have another copy. Okay, after I made this selection, I'm gonna right click make selection. Okay, and then I'm gonna add layer mask. Let's close this now for now. Press Ctrl I. So now I have the opposite. Now I'm gonna use my magic wand and I'm just gonna select this blue at the back with the magic wand something just like that you don't have also to be super accurate and paint black alt backspace okay i'm gonna fix just this little area here i'll use a brush black brush make sure you're on the black mask and i'm just gonna like slowly color with black on it to get rid of it okay and let's like get rid of the rest of everything like that Okay, so now we only have the face. Okay, now I'm gonna press right click and select and mask. Then I'm gonna use the one in the middle, which is the refine edge tool. And I'm just gonna walk on the edge like that. And you like let Photoshop do its work. It will refine your edge. Then you press OK. And now we fix the beard. Let's add a background. Okay, I'm gonna add a layer behind it. And then I'm gonna take the gradient tool and then I'm gonna use these colors from like dark blue. Let's make this a little bit darker from dark blue to almost white, something like that. And make sure you're on the circle and you have reverse on and it's 100%. And I'm standing in the middle and just drawing a gradient like that. So we have this type of look. Okay. We have a little bit of problem with the face here. I'm gonna use a black brush and just like get rid of these problems. Okay. I'll press now Control J to make another copy. Let's close this now for for now. Apply layer mask. Okay, now we have the layer only like that. Okay. The thing about caricature is you like need to play around with the face. Don't leave it the way it is. Make it looks like like it's weird. So I'm gonna go to filter liquify and actually i'm gonna try different things and let's see if it will work or not okay i'll try one way which is like making the chin really small something like that yeah make sure also you're on the first one the forward work tool i'll make like his chin a lot smaller something like that not only smaller, like as if it's going to the middle and I'll take that point and pull it out. I press Alt right click to do that, like to increase the size or you can like increase the size and reduce it from here. Make sure you have like the same pressure and density I have if you want to do this exact edit. And I'm going to put the ears like inside a little bit, these parts. Yeah, something like that. And let's make his head a little bit smaller from the top. Okay, that's actually gonna look good, I guess. Let's take something called the bloat tool. This, I'm gonna show you what it does. If I keep pressing click, you see what it does? It increases the size of whatever you press click on. So I'm gonna make his eyes a little bit bigger. Or maybe like not a little bit like several bits i want to make his eyes like a lot bigger something like that so it looks like more cartoon okay and then i'm gonna use the blow tool here actually to push this inside then i'm gonna use it here to make this bigger let's use it here to make this also bigger and let's push also this one inside and i'll push this one inside this one inside all these inside like from the edges and I'm gonna also make this again bigger and this one again big. Okay, that's the first step in achieving the caricature look. You see the before and after? Okay, 
So the first step is playing around with the face proportions to make it look like funny or cartoon. Okay, the second step is actually related to the skin. Okay, so what you want to do is you'll go to the brush tool, you'll press right click, you'll open this gear icon and you will press load brush. I will put this brush in the description below so you can download it. It's called the smudge paint. You click on it and you press load. It will be down in the description so you download it. When you download it, you will have like several ones here. We will use that one which is called 65. Okay? Okay. But we will not use it with a normal brush. We will use it with the smudge tool. Okay? And I'm going to create a new layer. Make sure you're sampling all layers and you have a decent strength, something like 25, not 100%. Okay, I'll show you first what it does. If I like do something like that, you see what it does? It makes everything like more blurry and smudges everything together. I'm going to use lower opacity and I'm just going to like keep on pressing clicks on his like forehead. Now I'm making it like everything is like liquefying together so it looks soft and the skin looks more cartoonish okay so i'm getting rid of all these parts make it smaller for the eyes let's do the nose also Make sure when you're like the clicks, like if you have a bright area and the dark area, don't move from the bright to the dark. It will like ruin everything. So move from the dark to the dark, from the bright to the bright. Because it will mix the bright areas with the dark areas, that won't look so nice. And as you see, I'm only doing the skin. I'm not touching the hair yet. Not even the cap, not anything. Only the skin for now. Let's do the hat. I'll increase the strength. And I'll do the hat. I don't know if I should do it actually or not. Well, I'll just undo. Control Alt Z, Control Alt Z. I'll leave the hat the way it is. We can do it in another way. I'll show you. Okay, I'll reduce the opacity. I increased it a lot. Okay, I'll reduce the opacity down. It's time to do the beard. So I'm gonna do the same for the beard. You can do it on a separate layer. Let's make a separate layer and do it. Just in case we make a... Like, always get used to working on a lot of layers. So that if you make any sort of mistake, you can, like, always go back and fix whatever you did wrong. So now I'm also, like, smudging the beard. Okay, so now we kind of have the cartoon look, but there is the last step, which is dodging and burning. We can do it several ways. I'll show you one way I like the most, actually, which is creating a new layer. Then just draw a selection around where you want you like the to do the, your thing. Go to edit fill or shift F5 and make sure it's 50% gray and press OK. Then change the blending mode of this to overlay or soft light. It depends. We will see. Then take the dodge or the burn tool. Mid tones. I'll make it. Just let me make it 15%. Let's see. Okay. And this is good. Okay. Now I'm going to dodge the areas where I think the light should be falling and burn the other areas to make his face look a little bit more 3D. So I'm going to dodge the nose. If you like, if you're on the dodge tool, you press click, you're dodging. If you hold alt or option and you press click, you're burning. You're doing the opposite. I'll show you with 100%. You see now I'm brightening, right? If I press alt and I do the same, I'm darkening. So I don't need to change this. Click will make brighter. Click brighter. Let's make this something brighter like that. Something brighter like that. Few clicks. Here, something brighter like this and that. Some here. Some there. And now I'm going to hold Alt. Let's make the shadows darker. Darker. And here darker. Like that. Let's make this area darker. This, this area also.
yeah, these areas should be dark because they are like inside. What whenever something is inside, it should be darker. If it's popping outside like this cheek, it should be like brighter. Okay, something like that. Always zoom out like to see like from far away. You know if you're doing good or if there's any problem with the work. Okay, now this is like, this is it for the face. We can like play around, maybe like uh, make the eyes a little bit bigger. I don't know if this will work, but let's try it out. I'm gonna like select all, press Control J, Control E. Now I merged everything. Oh, okay, we can't do that because we have like the, that layer. So I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take these three only, Control J, Control E. And then I'm gonna close them. So we have like this one. Now what you can do, you can take this one and you can play around like with the eye. Take it something like that, make a selection around of it. Press Control J, press Control T. Pull it around to make it bigger like that. Okay, I'll go back to the Move tool. Move it down right. Okay. Move it down right. And with an eraser, a very soft eraser actually, just erase the edges very smoothly. I don't know what's happening. It's not erasing. Okay, my eraser is not working actually. I have no idea why. That's very weird. Eraser tool. <laughs> okay, if you guys know why it's not working, please like add it in the comments. But I'm gonna e erase with another way. I'll just add a layer mask. Press Control I. And using a brush. Make sure it's like a soft black brush. I'm just gonna erase. I guess I couldn't erase because I had a selection of something that I could not see. So I had to press Ctrl and D to deselect. I guess that was it. So you see we made the eyes bigger. Let's do the same for the second eye. But now I'm gonna use the eraser actually. Like It's pissing me off why I can't use it. But I'm gonna use it now. Ctrl J. Now I'm gonna press Ctrl D, let's make this eye also bigger, something like that. Now I'm gonna use the eraser, hopefully it will work. Soft eraser. Ah, it worked, okay. So probably I was selecting something, like, for example, I had something like that. And I was always zoomed in, and I was trying to erase, and nothing is happening because I have a selection here. So I press Ctrl D to get rid of the selection, so now I can actually erase. Okay, like, <laughs> you always learn new things, like, about Photoshop. So it's important to work. Okay, I like, actually, the eyes a lot, what we did. You see, before the eyes and after, making them bigger really made, like, a lot of difference. I like it. And let's bring our dodge and burn. Now I told you, you can either put it overlay or soft light. I like the soft light more, you see. If you scroll up, you go to overlay, scroll down soft light. I like the soft light. It's, like, more subtle effect. So... I will stick with the soft light. Okay. Uh, I guess that's it for today's tutorial. If you have any comments or suggestions, guys, make sure you put them in the comments below. Thank you.